So today we're talking about golf swings for bad backs. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, but we are. <laughs> we are. Now, 25 to 67% of golfers have injuries. And what's worse is 89% of professionals have golf-related injuries. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Um, so coming up today in this video, uh, firstly, we're just going to explain why we're on the floor. It does relate to golf swings for bad back. Secondly, you're going to demonstrate um, two different golf swings. One that we know from research is really good for your back and one that isn't and then we're going to see who wins this daft challenge so good strong cores are really going to help you back as our bodies age okay so one of the measures is um, planking for 50 seconds so we're going to have a go at that uh, and then we're going to see who can hold it the longest <laughs> absolutely i know but you're in for the win because i was in the gym this morning right so anyway coming up in this video those three things so we're not going to do any more hints and tips videos because people said that it was confusing people and we're not going to put you through that misery but we are going to help and inspire you improve your golf game uh yeah so we said that we're not going to do any more hints and tips videos because basically um you guys told us they were just confusing you you know the youtube rabbit hole so what we did was set about doing a lot of research which can actually help you transform your golf swing not tinkering but actually help you transform your golf swing so what we discovered was there's certain golf swings that are really good for your back and certain ones that aren't. So the first one that you're going to show us is something called the X-Factor. So you may or may not have heard of that, but so you're going to show us what the X-Factor is with those. Yeah, we're going to use rocks. these as a, as a tool to help you understand exactly what the X-Factor is and uh, more importantly, maybe to avoid it. Yeah, and then also we're going to talk about the swings that are good for your back as well, aren't we? So go on. Absolutely, then. absolutely. That yeah. does look absolutely weird, I must say. It does look know. a bit strange, doesn't it? But it's great for the graphics. <laughs> So, um, if I set up here, so my hips, my shoulders are level, the X factor is about minimum hip turn and maximum shoulder turn. Um, so I'll just demonstrate that now. Oh, and straight away, as I'm trying to resist with my hips, my shoulders and my lower back now, I can really feel the strain in there. So this is where we're trying to get that separation between the two, and instantly I'm feeling that in my lower lumbar spine, which Actually, we can see here on the graphic behind us. So what, why did that get so popular then? Why, why, did it, where did it come from? So it creates a lot of energy in right. the golf swing. It's, okay. it's what we call creating torque in the body, which can produce uh, more distance on your golf shots, but at what cost? Well, you know that figure that we learned earlier, like 89%, 89% of professional golfers have injuries. Have injuries, yeah. That's that, shocking, isn't that, it? That's used, that, that is used by professional golfers, is it? Or yeah, like, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I mean, if 89% of senior uh, of golfers are getting injured, then there's something wrong, isn't there? there has but to be but wrong. What, we're, what we're not saying this is right or wrong. What we're saying is there's more appropriate golf yeah. swings for senior golfers. So this can work for people that have got the team of physios or whatever, you know, health and nutrition, la, la, la. But the other thing is, um, because of the lower back, I also found something in this really interesting journal, like a medical journal, um, which says the issue with that is that as you age, your spinal mobility decreases. Yeah. So you need a lot of spinal mobility to do that, don't you? I know it's on the screen, you can't see it very well, but we're gonna put it in there. And then the ability to absorb forces in that area as well also decreases as we age. Yeah. And, and this is what we're seeing for people who are coming in for I coaching know, and having real issues. Yeah, with well, absolutely. With so that's the X Factor one. So that's not so great. What's the one that is better then? Well, again, through research, uh, through the research from these universities, Amazing. what they've said is a classical golf yeah. swing is much more beneficial to golfers. So yeah. uh, that's what we, we tend to promote here at, at Proper Golfing. And let's show you exactly how you can achieve it. Are you, you going to set those things up now? I am. <laughs> Now you're going to show us a classical golf swing then? Yeah, just yeah. talk through some, some elements of it. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more detail we can go into, but Good. just to help people understand. Do you know what? You didn't show us the X Factor golf swing, but I'm glad that you didn't. I don't think I can, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna laughs> you know, because I'm just thinking on previous videos, we got you to demonstrate it the wrong way. Remember, you really did damage your back as well, yeah, didn't you? You could walk for days. Well, I've been there, I've got that t-shirt. I'm not going there again, thanks very much. Yeah. So anyway, we don't want to demo that one. No, so let, let me just hit one first, Joe, and then I'll explain a couple of bits about it. Yeah, cool. So let's just talk some, through some little points uh, of the classical golf swing. Mm. It's more about mobility rather than resistance. So allowing your ankles to move more freely is going to help your body move much more naturally bit more of an understanding how not to put strain on your lower back really important uh, so as soon as the left foot stays still 
the knees work wrong, the hips work wrong, and that loads up the lower lumbar spine with pressure. Yeah. Uh, I just don't want to uh, even demonstrate that because mm. uh, you know I've been through the pain and it's not much fun to be honest. Either one of us can say what the three pillars are. Yeah, let me let, let me explain where they came from, Joe. Mm. So to understand how to swing, it's better to do that if your body is in tension free. Yeah. So a tension free golf swing doesn't mean to say you're gonna swing slow, doesn't mean to say you're gonna lose distance. Yeah. All it means is your muscles are at their most efficient mm -hmm. where they can work naturally. Yeah. Uh, and generally we find people gain distance, not lose yeah, distance. So amazing. tension free swing number one. Yeah. Number two is to release the club head correctly. Yeah. A lot of people don't know what releasing the club head is. Uh, and if you can understand how to do that, how to use your wrists, you'll gain natural distance, you'll gain speed, you'll gain accuracy as well. So mm -hmm. releasing the club, really important. Yeah. And number, number three, which is it's growing its own momentum, <laughs> isn't it, Joe? Which is to hold your finish for six seconds. Yeah. So I'm going to test you then, Joe. Why six seconds? Because that's the average time that it takes the ball to land. Five, six. I've just gone over seven. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, about, about six seconds is the flight of the golf ball. Now, if you can hold your finish for six seconds, there's an awful lot of good things happening before that. Um, think of the finish of your golf swing as a blueprint to your golf swing. If you can't do the last bit, then there's a lots of things going wrong before that. And, uh, and, and generally, where we see uh, classical injuries happen is an impact in the finish yeah. of the golf swing. Uh, you know, they yeah, used to, to that's teach. what we found in the research as well. Yeah, it's really, it's a, you know, and everybody talks about um, the backswing and impact, but they don't really talk about the finish. Mm. And yet, if your finish is solid, you're going to protect your body, but also you'll hit it more accurately and more consistently. Yeah, so uh, finish of the golf swing is seriously important. Yeah. I, I, one of our members the other day on the live training actually said that, didn't he, to one of the other members. He's like, you know, if you can't hold your finish for six seconds, then you've got no chance. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah. Um, but it's got its own momentum. But it's yes. really important to let you know that all of the information that we bring to you is based on our, the strategy of proper golfing, which you, you can't obviously see that, but we'll put it on the screen. Uh, but basically, we spent a lot of time working out, you know, what's important to us, what's our values, what information do we want to give to you. So this is our new format of videos, is research-driven, demonstration, and a bit of fun. As part of this video, anyway, you'll get a um, document to download, so that'll give you the references for the material that we've found, um, some hints and tips, so that'll be in the download. But before we go, we just need to say who won the challenge. <laughs> Ah, oh, my abs. She's not doing good. Ah, I was working my abs this morning as well. Yeah, you haven't been in gym, right? I've had three yoga classes. Oh, oh God, I'm out. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. What a loser. Oh. Why are you laughing? I'm a professional. I don't like losing. I don't like losing. Oh, my days. In your defence, Jay, you have been to the gym this morning. You have done some stuff, and I haven't. But this is not something that I'm going to lose every single time. Just as a quick reminder, the reason we did the challenge is if you've got a strong core, that's going to support your back. There's certain there's some other exercises that we'll demonstrate in future videos to check to see if your core is strong enough to support your back. So these are not just a fun exercise this is this has a serious point at helping you play golf without a well, back the thing yeah. is on the live training with our members we put the challenge out there didn't we to we those did. guys so we thought well, hang on a minute if, they, if we're getting if them to do it them. we've got to lead by example and do it so we can tick the box anyway yeah. um we hope you like these videos they're informative and inspiring if you like it and share it like it share it and if you don't you don't that's totally up to you but we wish you a lovely lovely day and we hope to see you next time yeah take care bye thank you bye